Hi everyone, my name is Erin Rayberg, founder and executive director of Side Street Studio Arts, and I'm here with Tanner Melvin. Hi. The other founder and director of Side Street Studio Arts, and we're going to be sharing some easy artistic creative prompts that you can do at home, hopefully with supplies you can find around your house. Um, reminding us of things that made us fall in love with art making and hoping to keep you inspired and creative while you are at home with your friends and family. Um, so take from this what you will and keep making art. Today, lots of you, especially my Small Wonders kids, have done this no look drawing with me before. You know it is one of my favorite projects to do. Um, I grew up not knowing how to draw, whatever that means. I was a dancer growing up and anytime I took an art class, most teachers took me aside and asked me what I was doing there. Um, it broke my spirit a little bit because the, draw, the technique of drawing didn't come easily to me. Um, and it wasn't until graduate school and I was introduced to this book, The Zen of Seeing, um, by one of my professors that really helped me figure out and discover my philosophy of art today, that everything is art. That if you have intention and are being creative, that is art. And no look drawing really helps me get out of my own way um, of trying to figure out what's right and what's wrong, and instead of just doing what comes naturally. This is my favorite quote from this book, and I'm gonna share it with you today. When all antenna are out as they are in seeing drawing, the eye perceives and a reflex goes from the retina via what is called mind or heart to the hand. In seeing drawing, all the hand does is to trace a line to note it down as an unquestioning instrument. All doubt, all fear, all pretensions have been banished. And if you know me, if you take class with me, you know I wanna get rid of all of that stuff. So I'm sharing with you today, I grabbed some scratch paper, some small, I know some of my artist friends out there like to work small, and you can go all the way up to huge paper if you have that at home, some scratch paper we have, and took a look around the room. I started for the first time at the lab with this tapestry over here, uh, from skulls and pottery to all of these other objects over here. I set up a table, faced this way, didn't look at my paper, grabbed a pencil, and drew. And so the first time I was looking at this, and this is what came out of it. After that, I went back and I grabbed a handful of colored pencils and drew in some of the lines, drew in some of the colors, and came up with that. I did another more simple one of just this thing right here that just became a line drawing. And I went over my pencil with just a black marker and found that kind of interesting. And then I did this section of books here, which was line, 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 and went for the crayons on that one. I don't know if you can see that with the light coming through. Went for the crayons on that one. Crayons are my favorite um, to play with. And so I did all of that without looking at my paper. I set the paper down, I looked at the materials, and just started to drew. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong, just going for it from the gut. All right, here we go, Erin. What are we gonna do now? Now I'm bringing in Tanner so that we can do my favorite version of this. Oh, wait, I'm I like to do a timed one minute version of this. A lot of artists keep going even when maybe they think they could be done. Um, and this timed one minute version doesn't allow you to keep going. When the minute's up and the timer beeps, or whatever these timers do, <laughs> you are done. So something you can do at home is grab a family member or a cat or your fish or your favorite stuff, stuffed animal. Stand across from them, grab a pencil or a crayon or a marker, whatever you want to do and really awkwardly just stare at them while you draw. Tanner and I are gonna stare at each other. You do not get to look at your what? My watch. Your paper oh, or paper. your watch. You don't get to watch the time either. Okay. Uh -oh. You have to go for the full minute and you can only look at your subject matter. Okay, are can't look at the paper. All right, got it. You got that? Almost and go. <laughs> How many T 
teeth are you supposed to have? <laughs> How many? I looked! Ah! Uh, I messed up. Ah, it doesn't count because we were right in a minute. <laughs> so, All right. This you go first, Ms. is Ann. Tanner. <laughs> All right, and this is Miss Aaron. <laughs> it's Aaron. All uh -huh. right. So, yeah. I think that's pretty close. That's right. What do you think? I really think these get to the essence of who the person is or who you feel the person is. Now you can take this and you could go over the lines with a marker. You can color oh, it in, boy. that sort of thing. We're going to do one more, which is the other one that I like to do. Same one minute. Same. Don't look at your paper. But this time you cannot pick up your pencil. Mm. So your pencil mm -hmm. has to stay on the paper the whole time. You keep looking at your subject matter. You cannot pick up the pencil. All right, here we go. I'm going to rotate my paper. You don't have to keep it the same way all the time. Are you ready? Sure. Go. Two noses for sure. <laughs> oh man. All right, Aaron. Same, same. <laughs> <laughs> she has two nose. <laughs> noses. Look. So this can be a really fun exercise to do. We encourage you to find your derivations of it, share them with us. Make some art and message us, post it, share it with us. We want to make sure we're all, we're all still being creative together. We miss you guys. Um, <laughs> and if you need any basic art supplies, do you, did you forget to buy a new pack of crayons before you had to stay home for such a long period of time? Message us. We will put a package together for you. Do you need some paper, some crayons, maybe some watercolors, something to keep you being creative? Send us a message and we will get that out to you. Keep making art, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Bye.